We just made these super easy laser cut name puzzles and we'll show you how we did it right now. What is up? Welcome back. Do you like to do it, build it, or make it? So do we. And we have new videos each week. This week, we got another great beginner or really easy laser craft project to help you pay off that laser. We're making name puzzles. Now, if you've ever been to a craft show, I know you've seen this craft, and you will be surprised at how easy you can make this yourself with your laser. Personalized toys are great gifts from grandparents, aunts. They're a great purchase. You can make a whole booth out of just name puzzles. People love personalization. Who's down with PLP? <laughs> you know me. And this idea came from a bunch of comments we received on the themed layered name video. And this one's even easier than that. Step one, we're gonna gather all of our supplies. We're gonna use some quarter inch Baltic birch plywood, some Starbond thick for glue, hold it all together. We're gonna be painting our letters with some of our Foxy Hughes acrylic paints. And join us over on Patreon. We're gonna include some bonus content where we're gonna add some sublimated accents and we're gonna cut that out of this quarter inch eucalyptus board. Step two, we're gonna make our design. We're gonna do the entire design in Lightburn, so we'll meet you over there. Here we are in Lightburn, and since it's gonna be an easy design, we'll do all of our design work inside Lightburn. Yeah, it's a great beginner project here. So we're gonna start by selecting a text tool, and we'll just put my name out there in all caps, G-A-R-R-E. Well, if I Gerrit. Can spell. This is his French it's spelling. my French name, <laughs> Gerrit. All right, I'm gonna grab a corner, stretch it out, make it a little bit bigger so I can see it. Now you're holding the shift key while you do that? Nope, I just grabbed one of these corner pieces. If okay. I grab a corner, it will keep its perspective. If I grab a side, I can stretch it. Oh, okay. Control Z. All right, this is too squared off, so we're gonna go get another font. And the font that I like for this is called TT. Oh, there it is. TT Around Nouveau. Here it is. It's one of these. I'll pick this bottom one. Bold? Yeah, but it did do it. Bold. Extra bold. Give it a little, give it a little give something a little to grab extra. onto. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're gonna make our letters three inches high. There, and now we'll start to do some magic to it. Let's first give it an outline or an offset. We're gonna give it a hefty offset, outer shapes only, and then we'll select resulting object. So let's kick this up until it looks pretty fat. What do you think, like a little over half inch around here? Uh, yeah, I guess so, looks good to me. All right, we'll say okay. Well, that's selected, we'll change this to red so I can tell them apart. I'm gonna draw a box real quick. See, there's a gap in this T and the T, the TT. I'm gonna try to fill in that gap a little bit by drawing a box. Looks good. Now with that box selected, I'm gonna hold shift and grab the offset. Now over here, I'm gonna merge or Boolean union them. And I got rid of the gaps in the middle. Perfect. So this is gonna be my backer piece. I'm gonna need a second one. So I'm gonna go control D, which made a copy. I'm gonna grab this copy and hold shift It'll drag it all the way down pretty even. I'm gonna do it one more time. Control D. And I'll drag this one down. So duplicate. Yep, duplicate. Now these two are gonna be my cutouts. So I'm gonna make these red. I'm gonna have two layers of letters so that the kid can grab it. And this will be my backer. This one will be my frame. That's it, we're done. That's how easy it was. <laughs> So the red lines are gonna be my cut lines and the blue lines are my score lines. I left the score lines in there so we can put the center of the A and the two R's back. The whole thing is, ooh, it's 20 inches wide. I got a big name, Kim. <laughs> a 
this. Yeah, you do. Now, if you wanted to do this with a square backer, you could do it just as easily, right? Just draw a rectangle yeah, around just it. Just draw a rectangle around everything. And the letters would just sit right in there. Mm -hmm. And how do you round the corners? Because you probably wouldn't want it pointy. Can I round the corners on that thing? I don't know why you're asking me these tough questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so you want me to round the corners. That's pretty easy to do. So with my item selected, or my object selected, with my object selected, I'm gonna go to Window, Shape Properties, and this will open a tab over here on my Cut, Move, Camera, Variable tabs. So I have Shape Property. Again, with my object selected, I can go to Corner Radius, and I can just start tweaking it a little bit. Oh, perfect. So I'm just gonna go like, 125, 0.125, there, yeah. there you go, rounded. Exactly. So then I'd be able to take like my name, we'll duplicate it, and put it inside the box. There, now I have rounded corners, so kid won't cut himself. <laughs> I think he can still poke himself in the eye though. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta give him something to play with. I made a couple of other names that I wanted to try cutting out. So over here we have some shapes. This is a dump truck. I'm gonna put my name inside a dump truck. I thought that would be cool. And then here are some that have some accents that we're gonna try to sublimate on. Step three, we're gonna make all of our cuts. I'm gonna take this big sheet of birch plywood over to the AI Nova 14 and throw the whole thing in there and cut out all of our designs. We're also gonna cut out those shapes using our eucalyptus board. This is eighth inch. And we're gonna throw this into the Nova 14 as well. But all of these projects can be cut on your desktop laser. Let's get ready to cut. All of my red lines are gonna be cut lines. All of my blue lines are gonna be score lines. I want my red lines to cut first. So they're up at the top. And I'm gonna use 15 millimeters per second. 50% power. For my score, I'm gonna go 100 millimeter, 200 millimeters per second with 20% power. No offset, no offset. I don't know why tabs are so like big. Grab everything and we'll send it to the laser. Now we paint. We're gonna paint all of our little pieces here and we're gonna take our sublimation pieces over that eucalyptus board and we're gonna sublimate those. But we're gonna paint all of our little pieces right now with this trusty Foxy Hughes paints. <laughs> this is our outdoor acrylic paint. This is great for your outdoor signs, but it works just as well for your indoor projects because it is acrylic paints. If you like this project, you can find the unfinished kit where you can make it yourself or the digital file in our store at kngmakeit.com. Or you can join us over on Patreon where you get access to all of our files and a whole community of like-minded laser crafters like yourself. And, and we, we love, love our, our patrons. patrons. Step five, time to assemble it. 
We're going to bring it all together with some of this Starbond Thick. We're going to glue this frame onto the backer for the score marks. And then we're going to glue the letters, the ones that we painted, on top of the ones that are not painted. So it forms two layers, so you can pull it back out of the hole without having to dump the puzzle over. But first, we're gonna hit everything with a little sanding block, knock off the char, kind of round off some of the edges too. Make sure nobody gets any splinters. Yeah, we don't want any splinters. So now I'm gonna glue my frame to my backer and then start gluing all my little letters together. Step six, profit. All in for each of these, we're at about four to five dollars in materials. A little bit of labor to paint them. They're super easy to paint and glue together. And we think we'll sell them for $25 at the craft show. So a great high profit, easy craft to sell. Design time was about five minutes. Cut time was about five minutes. Super easy, super fast. We are about out of time, so if you're not going to join us for the Patreon after show, we will see you next week where we'll do it, build it, and make it again. And I'm going in with the truck. Right on his headlight. We'll see if those letters fall out. Ooh. You know it's a puzzle, right? Yeah. That's why it's got to be a super balance. They're not stuck in there. You <laughs> think that they are, but they're not. Yeah, I'll just tip it forward. Ha, ha, ha.